everyone welcome back to my channel this is sucker for love here we go let's go back to act two performed and then we'll get this ending right here and see what happens let's do the banquet now prepare for scene three by doing the following retrieve ingredients from cold storage light red fire candles allow the king into the room king's in the room all right red fire candles and i think we're good to go i want my smooches <laughs> Simply exquisite. Yes, I believe this banquet will do nicely. The room is filled with the mouth-watering aroma of perfectly seasoned meat and fresh fruit. There must be a magical component involved here because I see no less than three of my favorite dishes. Esther is strutting towards my bed. Surely you don't intend to merely watch me eat, dearest. I didn't think she was going to let me have any. Don't mind if I do. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. That's not what I meant. Oh. Instead of watching me eat this feast, You'll feed it to me. I don't really like her that much. <gasps> what was that? Is that a like groans of murderous anger from outside the door? Uh oh. Uh oh. Was that from the mass stalkers outside? If they've all got masks on their faces, they must be Esther's followers. Or even ex partners. Then their groans were of jealousy? Makes sense. They've been locked outside all this time. I bet they kill for the chance to spend any time with Esther. Just a moment, dearest. What is the thread count of your silken sheets? At least 1,000, I presume. Silk? My blankets are cotton. <sighs> Perhaps I'll just stand while you feed me instead. What a princess. So picky. If she's that uppity, maybe I'll start with the grapes? Something that'll feed her princess complex? Uh... <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Delightful. I'm glad. Another. Oh, okay. Hey, think I can have one of these? <laughs> Dream on. My lips have already touched it. Oh. If you want an indirect kiss, you'll have to be more clever than that. <clears throat> oh, yeah? So you won't eat anything my lips have touched either? Of course not. You were eyeing this cream puff, right? Would you like me to feed you a bite? Oh, heavens below, yes. I am pleased by this new attitude of yours, He's doing dearest. something. I casually take a bite out of the cream puff. Oh! <gasps> You did it! Hmm, delicious! It's so good! I've never had anything like it! Let me try! Oh? You want a bite? Even though my lips have touched it! I... I don't want it after oh, all! Oh, oh, he got her! He got her good! He got good! Well, if you don't want it, then I guess I can have some now, right? Hey, hold on! Hmm, it's really delicious! Nothing tastes better than food with a twist of eldritch magics. It's a shame you don't want any of it. What's it gonna be? Watch me eat your favorite dessert or suffer an indirect kiss. A little mwah mwah mwah. Give me the cream puff. Give me the cream puff. <laughs> Give me the cream puff. <laughs> what was that? I order you to hand over oh, the cream puff. Oh, there's the kink. Very well, my king. I offer over the other half of the cream puff to her eager hands, but instead... Ooh, okay. I forgot I was a hand feeding her. Her lips are insanely soft against my fingers. Oh my. Mm, it really is. Oh my god, right Spectral? She's damn cute when she drops her sadistic front. I do more, but I feel those husks staring jealous daggers into my back. They'll tear my head off if I let this go on. Shouldn't we save some of this for the play? It'll hurt the performance if we eat the entire set, won't it? I suppose. Very well. Smooth. Let us resume the play. Here we go. Setting. Interior, no light, no light besides open window. Enters wearing robes and mask. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Damn the night. And moral scornful. Wicked morning, unremorseful. Why tonight must I be mournful for ambitions unfulfilled? After all my preparations, all the daylights I have killed. Why is it us only still? Oh, why are my wishes unfulfilled? Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I salute it. It's your actions that permitted this result truly befitted to a hunger such as mine. Though your greed is grave and tomb and crypt in which you die, it's within your grace you fry. Dearest host, the end is not. Oh dear. Here we go. Next line. No mistakes. No mistakes. 
Wretched guest, you've come to mock me. For bemusement thou wast hawking, and so in the town you stalked me to watch my schemes fall apart. Strip thy mask, apologize, then hastily depart. Leave thee just my broken heart. Leave not else in whole or part. I wear no mask, no witness, for it was thee who hast permit this golden guest to own the dimness of the city of the till. Go, for oh. I'm the king in yellow whose long shadow is on your till, and whose shadow you're in still. Dark as death is now your till. Bum bum bum. Oh my. There is the mouse. Earth, draw thy blade from mine contusion. My life reaches its conclusion. Cruelty match by your delusion that you truly are the king. Yes, you would have granted all my wishes, not forsaken me. If indeed you were the king, why would you have murdered me? Granted all your wishes, I'm afraid I disagree. All alone you are with all of your remaining family. And as vision turns to darkness, you have claim to all you see. And you'll wear that mask and robe for uh -oh. the rest of all your life indeed. Uh -oh. And the strong will fall to illness, haunt your till with quick like stillness, and none left alive to witness my ascension to your till. And from the catacombs, 69 viewers. The cries of nice. innocence laid still, he heard from lady and from smithy and from throne to peasant mill. All right. Cries unprecedented in the history of your till. Wales, unlike they'll ever be again in dark your till. That your invitations quill brought the king to blast your till. And scene. Fantastic revelry, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement. Oh, thank you for the clap claps! Caffeine! <laughs> thank you! Uh, fantastic revelry, screams of terror, and sadistic amusement, all amidst thunderous applause. The king has come. Smiles, dearest, smiles! Aren't you proud of yourself? Why, why didn't you use a stage knife? I'm really bleeding out here! My blood streams from a gaping wound in my chest. My abdomen is unseamed. Oh, she really did stab him. Oh no, oh no. To ensure you stay in character, call it method acting, if you will. Oh, with sweet sorrow, the curtain falls and the show begins. Oh. The stage is now set for you to inscribe the yellow sign. Do this and I will bestow upon you the smooch I promised. Okay, she's all about that authenticity, yeah. You mean the smooches, plural, that you promised. Yeah, plural, you said. You'd give me two. Even now, that's really all you can think about? <laughs> yes, two, two smooches. Chat does not forget, I do not forget. Your world is about to be enslaved by a horror from beyond the stars. You're dying from a stab wound, and you're worried about smooches? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You are an interesting human. It is a pity that you'll soon cast away your individuality for me. The yellow sign is only visible or drawable by those who have witnessed or performed the King in Yellow play. Being exposed to the yellow sign, or after witnessing or performing the play, the King in Yellow will cause a permanent, irreversible obsession with the King, her court, and Carcosa. This insane obsession persists after death. If you are content to spend your life with the king, dim all lights, leaving your window open, and light black fire candles, this will allow otherworldly images to reveal themselves. Draw the shape below without the X. Let's look in the mirror first? All right, let's do it. It doesn't come off now. Look at that. Leave the window open, got it. Oh, the chalkboard, got it. I'm smart, I, I know things sometimes. Behold the yellow sign, become my slave. My eternal captive audience, I am entropy. Disorder. Where things are built tall, I appear to knock them down. I'm dead, I'm dead. Monuments, nations, relationships. Some of these husks have wedding rings on their fingers. I steal the hearts and minds of the rich or powerful to break them and litter my court with Ooh, them like She's the player, death. she's the Zeus. But why me of all people? I'm broke. Because I am the breeze of chaos that knocks down any tower that challenges the grandness of my court. Your relationship oh. with my sister was one of those things. She a beat. 
Before, I only pursued you because you have a great deal of clout amongst the Nycalin crowd and shrewd wealthy types. Uh-huh. You would have been an incredibly powerful servant who would have been able to draw in countless wayward souls that meet my standards. At least, until that reality ended and you undid all of my... She's jealous work. of us. We are too cool for her. All of my followers that I had stolen from Lynetta. Gone in an instant. <laughs> I had no choice but to abandon that reality. Rawr, indeed, Bronze. Also, Esther sucks to suck. Lanetta's better than you. There's nothing left to destroy if nothing exists, you see. But in this reality, I've stolen away her most powerful oh. asset. You. Just as I've stolen every member of my She stole army. everyone! She is so insecure. Oh my god, talk about insecurities. Oh, the husk. They're bleeding from their chest onto their elegant robes, just like me. All these people. Why? Why? Because it's what I do. Sheesh! No, I mean, why are they still here? Aren't they kind of third-wheeling our moment here? Kick them out! Huh? <laughs> Such a defiant tone. Why aren't you under the effects of the yellow sign? Oh! Were you... unaffected? Oh, sheesh! Did the spell fail? I don't feel any different. You're supposed to be obsessed <laughs> with me. <laughs> oh, uh, I already was since I first saw you. That's why your little spell didn't work. <laughs> you can try and resist it all you want, but one way or another, you're my eternal slave from now on. Whoops. Are you proposing to me? I accept. No, dearest, I'm not talking about marriage. What I'm talking about is catering to my every whim, anticipating my Ooh. every desire, and living solely to please me. Yeah, uh, that just sounds like a marriage. <laughs> no, I'm talking about a servitude where you do nothing but kiss the ground I walk on and revere me for all of time. A servitude unlike anything on earth, where you never so much as think of anyone else. I hear wedding bells. No, we have that on Earth, and it's called marriage. <laughs> marriage, do you live to serve me? Yes, please, right? We all hear wedding bells. We do. Waifu. It's different. Is it, though? Is not. Is too. How so? It means no freedom forever. You are only permitted this to is do such what a... I say. Okay, all right. Yep. And it means preparing every single one of my meals for me, whenever I so wish. And it means never being allowed to quit your servitude. You'll never be free of me so long as you live. Until death do us part, even. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but you're literally just describing being married. I mean, hey, if that's what you want, then I'm in. Let's get married. <laughs> He really did bamboozle her into marriage. Dearest. Oh. <gasps> he went for the smooch. Amazing. He, you shouldn't. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I stole you away. I ruined your relationship with Lynetta. Uh-huh. I preferred you from the beginning. Did you, though? I already broke up with Lynetta in the other reality, actually. Why are you being so persistent? You can't really want to marry me that badly. This is so messed up. This is so messed You're up! You're just trying to act all smooth, so I give you your second smooch. Save it for our wedding date. They need therapy, yes. Uh, it, you can't be serious, right? Oh, oh honey, I'm serious. <laughs> he was serious! <laughs> they actually got married, King and White. A mountain of salt, yes. All the salt pillars ever. The level of secondhand discomfort, Lamau, yeah. These are just for toxic relationships without the guilt of seeing actual people in them. Yeah, we're seeing them played out in eldritch beings and toxic playboys. That's what we're doing. That sure was something. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. I forgot I had to do an outro and I took off all my makeup and I'm currently in my jammies, so this is my outro. Okay, see you all in the next one. Bye!